let's create a keypad icon on PowerPoint. So first go to insert, go to shapes and pick this oval shape over here and press shift and drag it just over here. Done. And let me tell you that I'm doing this video on PowerPoint 2013. Now get another oval shape and stretch it a bit like this and put it right over here so that it works as the handle. You can already see that. Done. Now what I will do is just drag over all of this too. Then go to format, go to merge shapes, which is an awesome feature of PowerPoint and go to union and group this together. Done. Now I'll press Ctrl shift and click and drag it right over here. Then I'll go to rotate and flip horizontal. Done. Our basic shape is ready. Now I'll go to insert, go to shapes and pick a rectangle over here and just drag it over there. Done. We're right in the middle. Now I'll just drag over all of this. Go to format again, go to merge shapes and union them together. Basically all of them and I will fuse them together. Done. Our basic shape is ready. Now what I will do is I will have this format shape over here. Click on this and a window will pop up. I will go to fill and click on no fill so that it becomes a structure over here. Then I will go to line and increase the width to about you know maybe 8 points and make this this light black text lighter than 15% and go to cap type make it round go to join type make it round done our basic structure is ready then I'll create the buttons and all the stuff I'll go to insert go to shapes and pick this over shape again and just drag it like that I'll create another over shape by pressing ctrl D and put it right in the middle of the other one there you go done next there's the trick I'll click on this structure, go to home, go to format painter and when I click on this and boom it automatically becomes that object. I'll click on this format painter again and make this this thing again. So it basically format it just copy paste every effect you have put on another shape. It's very handy effect. Now I'll click on the lower circle and go to shape fill and make it white and click on the upper circle and make it this color. Done. Then I'll just drag over this right click and then group them together and put it like this over here and I'll just decrease the width so that it's visible so that we can see the difference of the stick all right done maybe I'll just decrease the size of the stick a bit yep now it looks nice yep done now what I will do is just drag over this and press ctrl shift and put it right over here done so basically our symmetry is done now what I'm gonna do is create the buttons and to do that I will just click on these two and put them a bit lower so that we have enough space for the buttons now I'll go to insert go to shapes and pick this over shape over here and drag it like this I will go to insert again go to shapes again and pick this plus sign over here and just put it right on top of it done now you know what I'll do I'll just click on this go to home go to format painter I'll double click on it click on this it automatically takes the effect and click on this and we're done I'll click here to raise the effect now I'll drag over this two group them together by pressing ctrl G minimize them a bit and put it right over here and fix the size a bit done so our basic thing is ready the analog stick is basically a bit smaller than the main sticks so this will be it and the next thing I'll do is and just in case you're wondering how what I did just there I'll just drag over them press ctrl and shift then I resize them so it creates something awesome now what I'll do next is just click on this and drag it outside over here press ctrl shift G to ungroup them then what I'll do is go to format go to edit shape and change shape and make it this triangle or you can just randomly you know manually pick a random just over here now I'll just you know create the buttons so I'll press ctrl shift and drag it right over here and make it you know a square yep another button is square I'll ctrl shift again and make it another shape which would be the cross and we have a cross over here the equation shapes multiply or maybe increase it a bit 
done and I'm gonna squeeze it a bit yep you have every option available then I'll just copy paste it once again and I'll make it you not know, round so that's the only shape that's left and there you go our shapes are ready I'll just group these together Control G to group them I'll just group this each individual button together done and I'll a copy paste this thing right over here and I'll press Ctrl Shift G or and re get rid of this so that we know where to put this now I'll just drag over all of this press Ctrl Shift and minimize them a bit like this and I will decrease the width a bit yep like this and decrease the size of it again and this should be alright now I'll just put this all in the right spot there you go there you go and this buttons placements might not be the perfect one but uh, you get the point right this is how you make the icon so I'm just gonna put them right in the place where they belong and our buttons are ready so we are almost done to add some bit more details I'll just go to insert go to shapes and pick this rounded same side corner rectangle over here and just put it right over here and you have a yellow dot over here just stretch it and smooth it out a bit and what I'll do is just click on this go to home again and format painter and paint it the same format done that's easy I'll just decrease it a bit done so it works with the trigger I'll press ctrl shift and drag it right over here so that our another button is ready and to you know make some buttons over here I'll go to insert go to shapes and pick this equal sign over here put it right over here and you know rotate it like this and pick it right in the middle done and just click on this go to format painter again and paint the format on it and decrease the weight a bit so it works with the button and decrease the size a bit maybe and put it right in the middle and our gamepad icon is ready on powerpoint and if you want to make this an image jpeg file just go to file save as and browse the spot where you want to save this go to save as type and make it jpeg file in change format and save it as an image and there you go that's how you make a minimalistic gamepad icon on powerpoint if you like this video don't forget to hit the subscribe button and there will be one new video every friday so don't forget to hit the subscribe button so that you can get a new video every friday and become a powerpoint pro thanks for watching